the open intervals of 0 to t to 7 is the, um, when is the particle moving down, and then we have to go ahead and justify. So a quick little thing to remember, guys, is this is what the position is. This isn't like the path of the particle. This is where the particle is at certain intervals of time. So from the interval from 0 to 2, this particle is at 6 inches. And at the interval at t equals 4 seconds, the interval or the uh, particle is now at negative 9 inches, right? So it's not the path. It's just showing where this particle is at certain periods of time. So we know that it is moving um, down when it would have a negative velocity, right? But we've got to be careful. We don't want to use the word velocity. So what is another way in terms of position? What is another way to represent that it has like a negative velocity that it's moving down? We could say slope, right? So we know that the particle is moving down, right? If it's up here at 6 inches, then it goes down to 9. It's obviously moving down. So we know that it's always going down when the slopes are negative. So just make sure you talk about slopes being negative, not saying, hey, the velocity. No, no, no. This is position graph. We haven't defined anything with the velocity. Um, so I would say that since uh, the slope of x of t did I write? Or what did I write? Oh sorry, slope of y of t is less than zero. The particle is moving. And again, this is we're not using the last equation used x of t, meaning a graph that was like moving horizontally. This one's like a graph that's moving vertically, so that's why I'm using y sub t. The particle is moving down on the interval. Let's we'll see. So when is it moving down? It's on the interval 2 to 4 and then 5 to 7. And then again, just make sure you represent this is an open interval, so those points actually aren't included. So we'd have 2, comma 4. Union, 6, 7. 